lot of conversations about working long hours, and I've, I've lived it as well. Uh, what are the aspects of my concept should I focus on to ensure that I'm working a average amount of hours compared to a long amount of hours, and also ensure my success? Well, for any entrepreneur, the reality is, is to start, you're going to have to work some long hours. Doesn't matter what, what restaurant business, manufacturing, doesn't matter. Okay? Entrepreneurs have to work long hours because you have to engage in the business and you got a lot of things to figure out in a short amount of time so you can get in the game of making money and operating the business. But I think the key between those that spend an excessive amount of hours and those that spend the amount of hours they need to manage the business is systems. Creating a system that all the managers are using, that all the operators have the same process of doing. Spring training in baseball. You go to the spring training in baseball, you got the best known hitters, Albert Pujols. This guy is one of the best hitters in history. But in spring training, they have him hitting the ball off a tee. They have a coach sitting there lobbing a ball up, and Albert Pujols is ripping this thing one after another. They do that with every player. Why? What, what are they doing? They're building a system. They're basically putting them through the system every spring training. Well, so when somebody says to me, I'm in the restaurant business, and I'm working 80 hours a week, the first thing that goes through my head is, so you're not any good. Because if you're good, you could do the job in 40 or 50 hours a week. And then I look at their systems, and now I know why they're working 80 hours a week, if they're working 80 hours a week. But they haven't done the spring training work to create the system so that everything becomes a process. Think about it. You know, of course, in the restaurant business, we have a lot of recipes. Okay? But if you got everybody making the signature dish a different way, what's the odds of that coming out consistently? Not very high. Well, the same with running a shift. There's a shift system, an opening system, a midday system, a closing day system, a weekend system, a night system, a banking system. I mean, it's endless. And if you have the systems, what it allows you to do is get more management people. And if you have more management people, what it allows you to do is spread the hours around. Because one thing you will hear is, well, in the restaurant business, you can't be sick. Why not? Oh, no. Can't be sick. Oh, yeah, you can. You're going to get sick, and when it happens, you might not want to be running a restaurant because you're going to get everybody else sick, employees and customers. Well, again, what that tells me is if you have that belief system, you can't be sick. Oh, I can't take off for my kid's baseball game. Why not? Oh, it's just you can't do that. That tells me is you don't have a system. See, every time you give me what you can't do, I realize you're not any good. Doesn't mean I can't make you good by helping you create systems. But ultimately, it's going to come down to you're going to have to work hard. There's no way around it. But that's with any industry. You're going to have to work smart. There's no way around it. But that's with any industry. And if you do that, there's no reason you wouldn't. There's no reason. <laughs>